So, Lauren, Caesar's Palace now has rounded its basically its Apple mobile strategy with the new iPad app as well. Uh, is the iPad app different from the iPhone app, or is one just simply bigger than the other? It's a little bit made. It's it's developed a little bit more with the iPad in mind. You know, it's a little bit bigger screen. It does have some other features that aren't. You know, necessarily included in the iPhone. The, ma the ma main one being booking is a big deal on this one. Um, and you're able to do more than just book a simple hotel. You're able to book services inside them. You know, the Caesar's Palace Hotel. Once you actually get there, you can schedule. You know, a golf tea time, a dinner reservation, a spa appointment. You can do all of that inside the app. And so I think what they're really trying to do with differentiate this one from their iPhone app is this was really meant to be made um, to to plan your travels and to use while you're there. It also has a mobile concierge so you can um, make different requests that you have and everything um, while you're at the hotel via the iPad app. So I think the whole big push is to kind of bridge um, the iPhone, the iPad to really be more of uh, as an as, you know, a total guide for the Caesars Palace.